Good morning children. Today I am going to do the second of, of the banking transaction lesson. See, banking transactions also including with the post offices also. Bank, whatever the bank works, bank transactions or money transactions are worked as done under the bank. The same also nowadays can we see in the post offices also. Any sort of activity involving in money or exchange of money in an account is viewed as a bank transaction. That already you knew about that. And the, uh, the banks also, they are instrumental that uh, deal with the money. Banks keep money as deposits and lending money as loans also. Everything you learn about that also. All the banking transactions in India are controlled by the Reserve Bank of India that is RBI which is known as Mother Bank, Mother Bank or Bankers Bank or Central Bank or Government Bank also. RBI formulates the monetary policies which should be followed by all other subordinate banks also. The recent development in banking industry is the inclusion of post offices into its fold that is the Indian Postal Department is planning to start a bank to be tentatively called as the Postal Bank of India. With a network of post offices spread all over India there are many post offices in India in the rural and the semi-rural areas also. So the department is already providing various financial services including a post office saving bank issue this is very important children underline that what was the facilities provided by the post offices that is a, a post office saving bank second one issue of national saving certificate kishan vikas patra monthly recurring deposit rd what we, we are calling monthly recurring deposits postal life insurance pension payment money transfer etc this is all done under the post office whatever the bank is doing the same also done under the post office also so it is playing a important role in the money transactions also based on the facilities provided by the banks to the people to the public the banks also having different types See, in that important types of banks are Central Bank or Reserve Bank of India. It is the mother bank. It is the head of the, all the banks. Bankers bank. Commercial banks. It is the purpose for the commercial purpose only. Only trade purpose only. It is helpful. Industrial Development Bank. To develop the industries, it helps a lot. Land Development Banks. It helps to the land agriculture or other, other land utilization. For that purpose, it will help. Indigenous banks are money lenders. Saukars are the local money lenders. The rich people, landlords are the rich people. They are lending the money also. Then cooperative banks. In this locally, VSSN what we are calling, society what we are calling, grain bank like that also. Locally we are, uh, our, our local village members only the directors of that uh, cooperative banks and they are collecting, they are providing the financial help to the that local people also. This is the cooperative banks. These are the types of banks. Types of bank accounts also is there. Already you knew about that. Everyone is having the bank accounts also I think. I hope so. Everyone is having. So in that four types of bank accounts are there. That is a savings bank account, current account, recurring deposit account, term or fixed deposit account. See savings bank account. This is the, this type of account is generally opened in banks by the salaried persons are by the persons who have fixed regular income daily what the incomes they are getting they are uh, having they are having the such sb savings bank account this facilities is also given to the students senior citizens pensioners etc then current account current account is opened by a businessman who have a large number of regular transaction with the bank then third one a recurring deposit account these deposit accounts are generally open for a purpose to be saved for the future date. The money is saved for the future date. Then term or fixed deposit account. This is this type of account is open for a fixed period. 
within that they cannot withdraw that money after that fixed uh, durations only they can withdraw the money that is a term or fixed deposit account and what are the procedures we have to follow to open a bank account decide the type of account already you learned about that there are the four types uh, with savings bank account and uh, current account recurring deposit account term or fixed deposit account in that we have to choose which one we have to take we have to uh, uh, select decide the type of account which you want to open second one approach the bank of your choice there are many banks we have to approach which the banks we choose that also then fill up the banks uh, account form or proposal form they will give a application form that we have to fill then give reference for the then give reference for opening your bank account whatever details they want or the bank officials they need you have to give all the your details to the bank also your reference to the bank also then submit the bank account form duly filled after filling that application form you have to give it back the officer will verify the bank officer will verify all the particular submitted by you initial deposit and they will offer you to initial deposit in the uh, first account to open account you have to deposit few sum of amount to the bank then what are the advantages of opening bank account bank account facilitate safe custody of money we are safeguarding our money with the help of banks and also it helps in making payment we want to give pay money to some other people or our labors or our uh, shopping uh, thing like that also we can uh, send through the banks also it helps in the collection of money it also helps to the collection of the money we want to collect money from others so we can take the help of the banks also and it holders the those who are having the bank account holders they get advance and the loans also advances and loans also and it helps in the smooth financial transaction and those who are having the account holders they can get the safe deposit locker facilities also deposit locker facilities means whatever we are having valuable documents or ornaments we can keep in the deposit lockers also thank you children